is it only good to just keep expanding, expanding? I often hear spiritual or holistic people, you know, they use the word contraction and automatically say, oh, that's bad. Contraction, constriction, this feels constricted or contracted, so therefore that's bad, and only expansion is good. And I just think, well, is that how the heart works or how nature works? It seems to me more like the heart <laughs> needs to expand, contract, expand, contract to stay healthy. And nature as well expands, contracts. And even the, the cycle of the universe, perhaps, expand, contract over eons and eons. And the reason I'm talking about this is for those of us who have a business, right? If you want true freedom in your business, you need to be the one to create structure for yourself. In other words, contraction, constriction, lines right, are not always evil and bad, even for us holistic, spiritual, heart-based people. We need lines too. We need structure too. Not always about expansion, holistic cycles, and circular everything. That All of that has its place. But if you want true freedom, you will have to learn to practice true structure. Because if you don't practice structure in your business, for example, following a schedule that you create, I'm not saying you gotta follow my schedule, you follow your schedule, whatever that means for you, but you have to have some rhythm is another way of putting it, right? If you like music, if there was no rhythm, there would be not really music, right? But some rhythm, which is structure and contraction to some degree, if you don't create structure for yourself, you end up having someone else having to create structure for you. In other words, you get a job. Nothing wrong with a job, it's just less autonomy and the practice of free will compared to having your own business. But having your own business ultimately means you have to be the one to just emotionally decide, okay, I'm going to temporarily create some constriction, contraction, and structure for myself, so in service to a greater expansion, the expansion of my autonomy, my soulful expression, and my finances. So let me ask you this. This is a question for you to, to reflect on. What is it are you avoiding creating structure for? For some of us, is we avoiding creating structure for content creation, right? Others of us avoid structure in terms of, oh, I don't want to have to promote myself on a regular basis, even though I probably know I have to because I, people, my audience forgets what I do. Even my best friends forget what I do and they can't refer me business because I don't talk about my work often enough. So is it content that you avoid creating on a regular basis? Is it announcing your offers? That just drains your energy and you don't have the structure for it? Is it doing, I don't know, your administration, administrative work, you're organizing your information and organizing your bookkeeping? What is it you avoid creating structure for? Because now I want to invite you first to ask yourself that. Right? What is it that you are avoiding creating structure for to follow a regular schedule for? What, what are you avoiding? Um, what, you know, what don't you love following a schedule about? And number two is, could you imagine framing that activity in a way that is deeper. So for example, if I am creating content right now, I could think of it as, oh, this is a chore, or this is a means to an end. I'm gonna make a video, so maybe people will hire me. It's so connected, it's so agenda-driven, connected to like, I'm not really here to serve and to love, I'm just here because you might buy from me, right? Like that's. That's what makes content creation less authentic, as, as an example. But if I want to create content on a structured basis, I can bring more meaning to it by saying, no, 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 I, I'm going to set aside whether or not this gets me clients or this is following some schedule. I'm following my schedule. I'm showing up for it, but I'm doing it from the heart, truly. I'm doing it to explore my beingness and to serve somebody who one person might be helped by this at some point and that's why i'm here or if i'm doing my boring you know bookkeeping let's say let's say you don't love doing bookkeeping how can you reframe that structured moment 
as something deeper and more meaningful. I don't know. Come up with that yourself, whatever that. So for example, maybe you could say, well, doing bookkeeping means I am training my mind. I'm training my focus. I'm practicing precision with my numbers. I'm practicing curiosity with my numbers and how that might connect to what, my, what that means for my life and my business, whatever. So it's like every th activity you do that you create a structure for, you can avoid it or you can lean into it by finding a deeper meaning for that activity. So that's my challenge and homework for you today is to think about what are you avoiding that you know if you did it regularly, it would be better for your business, number one. And number two, how can you bring a deeper meaning to it? What might that mean for you? I welcome you to comment below. I really am interested to see how you reframe it. So thank you for joining me on this journey of authentic business. And I look, I look forward to seeing uh, what you come up with. Thanks.